So you're missing that sense of a live event, missing your friends or community around you, or wanting to do something to support London-based events. Well, this video, I've got a list of live streams and other events. And the real good news is most of them are free. Most of us are stuck indoors and pretty much been going through the whole back catalogue of Amazon, Netflix, and YouTube. But the thing is, is that it's kind of not as fun, you know, watching it by yourself in a way in a room somewhere. With the current COVID-19 virus, this video will provide hours of entertainment with live streams and watch parties that you can partake with friends, family, and pretty much anyone else that you want to bring along. And this is part of my Stay Home and Stay Safe series. And I should do a quick intro, just in case you're new around here. My name's Joe, and I do video content that's based around travel and stuff around London. As you probably guess, not much traveling around because, well, we're all stuck at home, and most of my travel video guidey type content can't really use because, well, we're all stuck at home. So I thought I'd do this video, showcase some of the really interesting live events. So loads of these companies are moving their live events to the world of virtual and sometimes they're actually only available for a short time so make sure you keep an eye out for these events it's also my contribution to support london events but on top of that i'm going to throw in some organizations who are i think are doing some really really cool stuff and in this list i've got a mix of music theater films or watch parties and even something to do with food in here as well and of course most of these are free but even though they're free uh, most of the people performing like the artists, the musicians, the people who do the theatre, they're out of work at the moment. So if you can spare just a couple of quid and donate some cash towards them, I'm sure they'd be really, really appreciative. The list that is currently here may change over time. As a supplementary thing, I'm going to have a blog post that will work on, alongside with this video. And don't forget, there's timestamps in the description that you can jump straight to whichever thing that find, you find most interesting. Let's jump into the music, the theatres, the live streaming and the other stuff. So section one, live music. Now, just in case you didn't know, in my first year of creating this channel, I actually was traveling around, going to lots of uh, music city festivals. And that was actually really quite good fun. You should check out some of the older videos if you're missing that sense of travel and seeing live music as well. First live music thing is So Far Sounds. They're basically a company that organizes live music events in a much more intimate environment. When you go to like a regular live music event, especially like really big ones, when you're trying to listen to music, it's usually quite irritating when somebody right next to you or loads of people around you just like talking away and you're trying to like enjoy this really like, you know, cool moment with the musician but so far sounds decided to get all these like artists and live music events and put into a small environment and they started with uh, people's front rooms basically and it started in 2009 in london and it's expanded to over 345 cities a lot of cities damn i actually went to my first gig through so far sounds back in 2013 and it's literally in somebody's front room it was a quite cool little place if you're traveling around the world Check out whether they've got a So Far Sounds gig, really worth checking out. And you get to experience some local music artists as well. At the moment, they're actually offering live streams some, from some of the artists. And through So Far Sounds, I actually discovered quite a few different new bands that I didn't know about, including Nemes. Check these guys out, they're really, really quite good. And the good thing about So Far, they don't have a specific genre, it's quite international, and it's a real mixed bag. Okay, the next on the list is the Royal Albert Hall. Now, the Royal Albert Hall is one of my personal favourite music venues in the whole of London and the actual main hall itself. The acoustics are absolutely brilliant. I've kind of lost count of how many gigs I've been to. They're doing a bunch of live shows from the artist's location and they're calling it Royal Albert Home Series. It's a real big mix of genres and you can either watch them live or on replay. And it's accessible through the Royal Albert Hall website. Recently I watched the Katie Tunstall live stream and she is absolutely amazing. She's such a funny musician. Yeah, she's just a great performer. Okay, and next on the list is Boiler Room. Now Boiler Room, it's come up to my radar because I was actually looking for something more dancey and something more like a dance radio station. And then I discovered Boiler Room. And what Boiler Room is, is basically a platform to stream dance music. But it's not just based in London, it's very, very international. So loads and loads of different types of genres, most of which I have no idea what it is. So if you want something a bit more chilled, you can find chilled stuff. Or if you're looking for something a bit more energetic, that's definitely stuff which is pure energy and making you jump around. And of course, lots and lots of eclectic different types of music. But on top of that, they also have a film festival called 4 to 3, 
which I'll go into a bit more detail in a second. Which is a nice transition into the next section, films. Who doesn't like a good film? The classic escapist media. Now, we have loads and loads of stuff for you to watch. Most of the stuff from this list is documentaries because that's what I kind of like. At the moment, there's loads of watch parties on Facebook. So you just gotta do a quick search. Um, they're really, really popular with the film festivals. As you can imagine, film festivals are pretty much postponed or cancelled. So chances are, if you're looking for to go to a festival or you've heard about one and it's happening in the next couple of months, chance they've probably postponed it and they've probably pushed it virtually. So first on this is the Birth of Doc House, one of the only cinemas that I know of which specialises in just showing documentaries. I've seen some amazing documentaries like Bombshell, the heady Lamar story, which is also currently showing on the iPlayer, and also Icarus, which is an amazing documentary and I thoroughly recommend it. And that's showing it on Netflix at the moment. Both Dockhouse are organising lots of stuff, including a regular Q&A with the filmmakers. Each week, they nominate a film which you watch in your own time. They schedule a live Q&A with the filmmakers, which the public can ask any questions they like. I personally love watching Q&As with the actual filmmakers themselves. I just find it really interesting, the whole process, how to go about making films. It's brilliant. I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. They've had quite a few Q&As and they've actually opened up their archive of Q&As that you can also watch online. And I just want to say an extra big shout out to the team at Birth of Dog House. They're really like cultivating a whole community. They've even got a WhatsApp group, which I thoroughly recommend uh, joining if you're looking to get some ideas for what documentaries to watch or just sort of cultivate a community feel within London and maybe even get um, meet some other people who are documentary filmmakers to to like kick off your next project who knows I should also mention that I'm one of the organizers of the London Documentary Network um, we actually do this event called Doc in a Day the idea is to try and create a documentary in about 36 hours and we've had some incredible films actually created over the past few years I think it's been running for about four years now but you can still see all the films that's been created over the weekend and there's some absolutely incredible ones. I'll put a link in the description so you can check them out. So I've mentioned these guys before but Curzon Cinemas are basically one of the top tier cinemas in the whole of London and I think the UK maybe I should have double checked this as well. I'm really bad at research I just realised and they also offer a streaming service similar to Birth of Dockhouse. They also offer a Q&A with the actual filmmakers themselves and I really hope these guys survive over the next six months it's quite challenging for the cinema uh, industry at the moment as you can imagine cinemas are closed down yeah oh man i'm really missing going to a cinema actually anyway and make sure you hit the subscribe button because i'll be releasing more stuff to do when during lockdown make maybe more some more fun stuff and more educational stuff on how to film whilst you're traveling around um this is a great time to actually learn upskill so i know that quite a few of my uh, friends i'm part of the travel community watch this channel so if you guys have any questions about how to make films filming make videos let me know and i'll stick into the queue to create some educational style videos to help you guys out i'm doing stuff like um how to choose a camera the basics of editing a vlog that type of thing oh audio as well audio is a real big thing so you will see lots of audio tutorials i'm also going to be doing lots of 360 style tutorial type videos so that's going to be really interesting. I'm going to be partnering up with a couple of companies to actually do that. Um, looking forward to it. Anyway, I'm getting a bit distracted. On to the next section. Ratio, time for a little bit of culture and let's go to the theatre. And the first one on the list is National Theatre. It's one of the most famous publicly funded uh, performing arts uh, venues in the whole of the UK. Maybe you know when you have a list and you think, oh, I should really go to that thing. Well, the National Theatre was on that to-do list. Now that I'm stuck indoors, I'm kind of regretting not actually going to many of the shows. Every Thursday, they stream a new show, their actual full production performance. So for example, they've had Jane Eyre, Treasure Island, which I thoroughly recommend. It's worth noting that the stream is only available for a week or two after the Thursday performance. And if we walk virtually, it's just up the road along the South Bank, we get to the Globe Theatre, which is a recreation of the original theatre made famous by Mr. Shakespeare himself and every week they are streaming one of the performances. So similar to the National Theatre, once they've streamed a show, it's, that stream is only available for two weeks afterwards. In the past, they've had Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth, Hamlet, and basically all your favorite Shakespeare shows. And of course, if you do miss out, they also have their own streaming service. And my last recommendation is a YouTube channel called the Show Must Go On, where musicals are streamed every Friday. And I be believe most of the musicals which are streamed are from the 
famous Andrew Lloyd Webber, famous for writing many, many musicals. And they've had plenty of shows shown online before, including Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, Jesus Christ Superstar, Phantom of the Opera, which I'm really, really gutted I missed out. I would have loved to watch that. And as I mentioned before, if you're watching these shows for free and you've got a couple of quid, um, do donate a little bit of cash to, um, the, to the links actually in the actual videos themselves. It'll help out the people who are out of work who put in a lot of time and effort making these productions. Anyway, next section. Okay, I must admit, the fact that I'm getting kind of hungry right now thinking about food, uh, this is not going to help, but you can experience food virtually through the lovely people from Curb. And just in case you've never heard of Curb, they're a street food company with loads of sites around London. They have an amazing selection of traders under their banner and they've definitely pushed the street food scene forward here in London. And what's really cool about them is that they actually cultivate this community of street food traders by having short courses and workshops and they even have an incubator. So if you're out there in London or actually anywhere around the UK in fact, and you're thinking, now that I've spent past two months cooking and learning how to cook, how about I start a street food business? Yes, you can do that through the curb, like workshops and make amazing food. And oh my God, this is so hard to record right now. I'm getting more and more hungry as I'm talking about it. And they have a regular stream called Lockdown Lunches where they follow the traders actually cooking at home. So yeah, isn't that a brilliant idea? But like, you know, you're stuck at home, can't get check out any street food. So you can just buy a couple of ingredients and do a cook along. Amazing. We're almost at the end. Just a couple more mentions of some different live events. First one is Global Citizen, who are an amazing humanitarian organization. And what they aim to do is to, to end extreme poverty by 2030, but they also do loads of other humanitarian projects as well. They also have support from loads of artists and usually organize events like music festivals. And they ran something back in April called To Give At Home. Unfortunately, I missed completely, but I asked to check out some of the clips and watch the replay on their YouTube channel. And what I really love about the stream is that there's loads of like varied artists. There's some really, really good music in there. And on a related note, I did have the absolute privilege to actually work and attend the Global Citizen Prize. Filming a red carpet, pretty cool. Like you see all these like stars just walking by and oh my days, I was just like really like literally right next to Stormzy and watching Stormzy Sting perform at the actual show. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, help like share their their message and just join the cause through their different social medias. Their social media team are absolutely amazing. And final mention for online events is pub quizzes. Now I haven't mentioned a specific pub quiz because there are so many on Facebook. All you're gonna do is just go onto Facebook and do a quick search for pub quiz and you'll find like loads. And just in case you're not from the UK and you're wondering what's a frigging pub quiz, but you go to a pub and you have a quiz. It's a definitely a very British institution. I'm sure you have that around the world, but um, it's definitely a really, really popular thing here in the UK. And since all the pubs are closed at the moment, well, where do we get our pub quizzes from? Well, they're doing it virtually. I've actually attended quite a few and it's just a good laugh, really. But one thing is that because it's a virtual pub quiz, you're not going to get many prizes because it's, it's just be too easy to cheat since nobody can check when you're checking your phone and whatnot. But don't cheat. Cheating is bad. Don't do it. Check my blog for the latest information about all the streams and events and whatever random stuff I can throw in to keep us entertained whilst we're stuck at home. Um, if you do have any recommendations for stuff around London or just really good online events, uh, live streams as well, de definitely let me know. I'm going to try and like have a separate uh, post for general live event type streaming events and then stuff around London because I do want to try and support the community around London with all the venues having to close down and I do hope at the end of this not too many venues will be shutting down and since you've got all this time in your hands if you're fancying upskilling my next uh, video couple of videos will be about 360 mainly to do with 360 virtual tools how to create 360 videos and 360 cool stuff and you may have seen a bit of that actually on my channel. Chances are you're going to see more of it. I've been posting quite a bit on my Instagram when it comes to teeny planets. I'll teach you how to do all that stuff. And if that sounds really cool, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and I'll see you in the next video. So guys, you're <coughs> oh gosh, I'm losing my voice. And I actually went through to my...
But anyway, yeah, keep calm, stay home, and stay safe.